And Paul, we've been getting phone calls and text and Facebook messages from folks all across the Tennessee Valley today, and many of them are telling us they are experiencing an overflow around the sanitary sewers. That's right, Channel 3's Travis Cummings has been scoping out flood conditions and talking to people who live in the impacted areas. He joins us live from Thunder. Travis, what are you guys seeing out there? Well, guys, we're here on Boy Scout Road, and I really want you to see some of this trash that's kind of spitting out of uh, Chickamauga River and the surrounding areas. Um, a guy on Loveton Drive, he's been living there for about six years. He says it's a problem in his area long overdue. I mean, I haven't complained about it. But at the same time, it, maybe something should be done. When Gary Bowen walks out of the front door of his house off Lupton Drive, he tells me he can't help but see this sanitary sewer overflow sign. Uh, it's always open. He says water has gotten so high in his neighborhood, the homes have had to be raised. And I've seen the, it flood into my yard. We've seen both those properties on uh, left and drive have their front yards full of water also for what he and his neighbors experience in a big rainfall several times a year his main issue is the numbers on his sewer bill our, our sewer bill is one of our most expensive utility bills and we don't see much for it the city of chattanooga department of public Works said in a statement to eliminate sanitary sewer overflow the city continues to work on a citywide effort of replacing and updating infrastructure like pump stations sewer lines and introducing new infrastructure The city says the Hickson area, which we're driving through right now, was identified early in the planning and negotiations process with EPA as sanitary sewer overflow mitigation priority area to be addressed in a consent degree from 2013. Now, two projects, a new pump station and a new upsized gravity sewer, will hopefully significantly reduce those sanitary sewer overflows in the area. Construction on those is set to begin in March, and they're estimated to wrap up in 2021. In Thunder, Travis Cummings, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.